Conditions in the mountains are treacherous. Cars have been slipping and sliding westbound on Vail Pass. Snow is expected to hammer the high country all night, keeping those roads slick and snow packed. Hello, I'm Kathy Walsh. Thank you for joining us. The mountain snow is our top story tonight. Two people are dead. Another was able to dig himself out after the group triggered an avalanche near Vail. It happened around 5 o'clock last night. Search and rescue crews spent the day working to recover the two victims. Matt Proshel broke this tragic news on CBSDenver.com. Matt, we've just learned the names of the two men who were killed. Kathy, Eagle County officials within the last hour releasing those names. I'm told 28-year-old Dylan Block and 30-year-old Cesar Alamanza Hernandez, both men from Gypsum, were killed in this avalanche. Their bodies were recovered within the last hour. We have received some photographs from the scene last night by other bystanders who happened to be in the area when this avalanche slid, they raced to the scene to start digging, to start trying to do whatever they could to help. And their best efforts proved futile because of the amount of snow that came down. Rushed out there and instantly started searching with beacons and digging. And I mean, it took, it took a long time to locate them because of how deep it was. You know, was, beacons were showing four to five meters even when we were directly above. We're getting into the, uh, into the uh, different snow packs uh, with heavy wet snow over powder snow, ice layers. So uh, avalanche conditions are always getting worse. That was the sheriff uh, in Eagle County talking to us just a few moments ago. Listen, President's Day weekend has historically been a very deadly avalanche time here in Colorado with several deadly avalanches in past years. <laughs> <clears throat> and now this incident as well, and the conditions are just getting worse up here as more snow continues to fall. We are reporting live. Matt Croshill covering Colorado First. Thank you, Matt. And we can.